Welcome, guys, to another episode of Eye of Terror. Ian and I are back for a mission, or sorry, I should say a side mission for our Shadows of the Underhive narrative campaign. It's only Ian here today because the side mission is going to be primarily focused on Sicarius. Uh, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. um, but he does have a tag along, and you got to choose anybody from the gang that you want to bring with you. Who's the second model? So Karius is the uh, main one. Just because of their history, he's going to bring a Skull Smasher with him. Okay. Uh, because of the nature of the mission, yep. he's, he knows he can handle himself. Yeah. So the mission itself for today uh, is not like a mission from the book. It's a custom hunting monster mission. Um, but it's not monster hunt like the scenario <laughs> yeah. from the thing. Uh, so the if you haven't read the side or the origin story from Sicarius yet, go back, give that a read. You'll understand where we're sort of coming with this scenario because you you were from what is it, Katachan? Mm -hmm. And you were a monster hunter basically there. You were going around hunting monsters. So your skills are still hopefully sharp enough Should that you can hunt monsters here because you've accepted a contract uh, to hunt a creature here in Killjoy's Landing. The creature has been leaving bodies, uh, what is it, what, what, uh, exenuated? No. Exangu Ex exsanguinated. Yeah. Exsanguinated. Uh, basically drain of all blood and life fluids. Mm -hmm. But then at other times there's gaping holes through the bodies and bullet wounds as well. So like it, bullets make it sound like it's not a creature, but yet the other wounds, the gaping holes in the in the victim's bodies, and and you know being you know void of all life blood and 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 fluids, uh, that's not something that's normal. So you've accepted the contract because you you do think that the majority of the injuries, from what you've heard and, and what your people have shown you and, and what you've investigated, uh, are a creature. So you are trying to find this creature, mm. whatever it is. You don't know. Uh, it's in an evacuated section of Killjoy's Landing. Um, Power's been flickering on and off. Uh, so when we start this scenario, power will be on, meaning lights will be on. But at the end phase of every turn, we'll roll a d6, and on a six, lights will go out. Okay. So, uh, using what is that, the dark rules, basically, yeah. right? So, which we're familiar with. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> because of certain tactics cards. Mm -hmm. uh, again, this is a Patreon-only battle report. So you guys, thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, it allows us to do what we're doing here uh, and bring you the content that we are. Um, and this is a thank you for that support. That's why we're doing these battle reports and the side missions, just for you. Uh, so I've written down some uh, stats for the monster. Uh, you'll see that there's some other little critters running around as well. Uh, and what this I hope to do with this is basically uh, bring the narrative forward uh, into the main scenario or the campaign. Um, and you'll see where I'm going with it, with the enemies and stuff like that. So anyhow, I'll show you the board, show you the gangs, and the oh, sorry. Let me stop there. The whole point is to kill the monster, if you haven't realized that. That's, that's the whole point, is to find the monster. And like the last one, uh, you, have, you, you don't know where it is. So it's until you actually come within a certain distance of it, you won't know. You can't see it, you can't anything. So as you go through buildings, you'll discover that. Uh, you, there could be creatures inside, or once you get within a certain distance, things will start showing up. So that's what I did with Darren, at least. So <laughs> we'll see how it plays here. Uh, but anyhow, we'll show you the board, show you the models that are being used for today, and then get right into the match from there. All right, so here are the adversaries for today's scenario. Uh, so starting off over here is what I'm calling the Feral Stalker. That is the monster that Ian is searching for uh, throughout this scenario, and the whole objective is for him to kill uh, that uh, creature. So for winning this scenario, you gain, everybody gains an experience or participating in the a scenario. Um, but whoever uh, ends up wounding the uh, creature gains an experience as well. And then uh, whoever has a killing blow gains one additional experience. So each wound is an experience, and then when you kill it is an experience. Nice. Okay. So it's pretty experience heavy. Uh, so the stats for this thing are it, it's it's not a weak creature at all um but it's sort of like a mixture of uh some of the creatures that you find in the core rule books uh so its movement is six inches weapon skill three plus ballistic skill six plus strength four toughness six three wounds three plus initiative um two attacks cool six plus will six plus initiative or intelligence nine plus and leadership eight plus. Uh, it has talents, which are the ones right from the books, uh, which is engaged. Uh, e strength of the damage or weapon is equal to the strength of the character. AP minus one damage two. Has the pulverize and melee. 
Then it has tendrils, which you can see on the back there. Uh, the tendrils uh, have versatile up to two inches, so we can engage you two inches away. And then it's strength plus one, minus one AP, one damage. And then it has a savage bite uh, from its mouth, obviously, uh, which is engaged. Strength is equal to the strength of the model, and then minus two AP, one damage, and then it also has disarm. So some of the special rules uh, on here, or skills, uh, it has the dodge skill on a five plus, a clamor skill, nerves of steel, and mighty leap. Uh, when Ian gets within a certain distance of this model, uh, where it can successfully charge, if he hasn't seen it by that point in time, whether because it's night or whatever, he this thing will move around the board and potentially charge him if one of his models are within uh, charge distance. Same with these guys as well, the Aberrant and the Neophytes. So the Aberrant is equipped with the pick, Neophytes are equipped with what you see. So one has a shotgun, one has an auto gun, and they are somewhere around the board. And our heroes for today's match, Ian, you got Sicarius. Uh, yes, has Sicarius anything Grim. changed with him yet, or no? Um, he had an advancement uh, last round, and okay. he's improved his ballistic skill by one because he's tired of not hitting things. That's right, that's right. Or being taken out pretty early. Yeah, so we'll he see has how this fast, goes. inaccurate shot. Fast, inaccurate, I like that. And then with him, he also brought... Um, Agent Scully Smasher. Scully um, Smasher? <laughs> because they're going into the dark looking for yeah. monsters, so yeah. Dude, what it, what's, the, what's the sound to the X-Files? <laughs> that's just... Yes, that's right. So Skull Smasher is coming in with his grenade launcher, and uh, he has his brute cleaver and stub gun. Um, but he is not a champion, he's just a basic character. But you are a champion, so you can do your group activations with him and stuff like that. Uh, so Ian, I'll show you the board next, and he had a choice of what board side he uh, can deploy on. So board is next. All right, so here we are with the board. Instead of playing on a 4x4 board today, we're actually playing on a 3x3 board. Uh, so this line right here, you can see like the buildings lined up on it, that is the edge of the 3x3 board. So we have a tall building, a whole bunch of stuff, ladders and such all inside, some scattered terrain, and then a whole bunch of tall sector mechanicus buildings here, a uh, bunch of walkways and that. These are from uh, GameMat.eu. They're the new Necropolis building set. Uh, fantastic. Uh, make great walkways, stuff like that. And the mat itself is actually from uh, GameMat.eu as well. Got a bunch of scatter terrain down there, uh, more buildings, and then you can see some of the, uh, the crates and everything else. So that is the shot of the board for today's match. Uh, and then you can see the dice are lined up. That's the edge. So it's basically from the edge over there, not the edge of the map, but where all the train was set up, where the dice were, all the way over to this edge, to this line right along there. Uh, and Ian, you s decided to set up on what side? I'm going to take this edge. Over. That edge over on that side. So he couldn't do the two sides, uh, the north and south sides, which are to the right and left of the screen, so here and here, but he did decide on that side instead of this side here. So I'll let him deploy, and the heroes or the the adversaries the creatures um they are already i wrote down where they're located on the board so so ian you have set your guys up right there like so and uh it's light right now so what are you going to do with them this question you know that there's a creature that has been stalking this area you can see remnants of bodies and bones uh strewn all over the place so you know something is around your your hunter instinct is kicking in but the question is, is it hunting you, or are you truly hunting it? No. All right, Ian, so what are you doing with these guys? All right, so I'm going to start with Sicarius. Okay. And he's going to use his grapnel launcher mm -hmm. just to uh, try and get a vantage point to try and scope out the area, see what's what. Okay. Splitting up the party? I'm going to split the party because I think uh, we can cover more ground that way and it can t there's no way that it can go wrong. There's no way at all. No. Are you sure about this? I'm totally sure. All right, so where are you grappling launcher into? You have 12 so, inches. So I'm going up here. All right, sounds good. So he's just going to go up to the upper level there. Zip. All right. And that is his double action. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. All right, so Ian has decided to uh, jump up onto that upper level of the Sector Mechanicus. Um, and if you look here, I wrote down where said thing would be. 
And so, uh, Ian, you jump up there, and nesting up top in the center is a huge giant monster. <laughs> uh, you see claws and tendrils, giant massive talons uh, sitting, or, or coming off of its feet, and then tendrils off of its back. Uh, it's very leaf, almost feline-like, uh, but it is there facing you down. It does not like the fact that uh, you have just stumbled onto its nest or sleeping grounds. <laughs> so uh, I'll let Skull Smasher take an action and we'll start the round after that. <laughs> Alright, Skull Smasher gets one go. Skull Smasher gonna have to do a double move to try and get up. Alright. We'll see where he ends up with his movement. <laughs> so after a double move, uh, Skull Smasher is ending right there at the top of the ladder. And we'll come into a new round next. <laughs> Roll me a d6 though first. Just so we can see if the lights go out on a 6 plus. No. Alright Ian. Let's roll off to see what happens with <laughs> Sicarius up there. Oh, 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 oh! That's lucky. <laughs> I know what I would be doing if I was Sicarius. I rolled a 1. You rolled a 3. You what? have priority. That could be good for you. Could be good. Alright Ian. What are you doing with Sicarius up here? I'm going to start by chucking a scare gas grenade. Trying to get it away from you? Hopefully it breaks yeah. and runs away? That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah? Because I don't want it in my face and angry. Okay. So it's a, what, a three inch uh, blast? Yes. Okay, so roll a d6, sir. Let's see what you get. <laughs> oh, no! So it's going to scatter. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's see. Uh, it's going to be hard to roll up here, but like yeah. this roll down here so we can sort of generalize. Uh, so it's going one inch and it's going towards that. So it's going to basically hit the edge of his base closer to mm. the uh, pole down here. Let's get the blast template. It's small ones Boy, right underneath there. Both of us, but I got a respirator think... at least. Yes, yes. So it's, it's going to move over the inch. I don't think it's hitting you, dude. Because it's just going to go right down there. Sweet. And uh, yeah, no, it's not going to hit you. So, yeah, so it's going to be, it's just going to miss you. It's going to hit it, though. Um, so it needs to, it's a gas trait, is that what it is? Uh, yeah, uh, Scare Gas Grenade is okay. a Gas Blast 3 and mm -hmm. Fear. Okay, so roll a d6. You gotta get higher than, or equal to or higher than his toughness, so you need a 6 here. You want a 6! Oh. It was on there for a second. Yeah, it was on there for a second, <laughs> wasn't it? Uh, so that does not work. You do have another action, because that's still a basic action. What are you going to do with that? That's the question. What are you going to do? There's not a heck of a lot I can do. Jump down? <laughs> if I had a grab shoot, maybe. Well, at least it's only going to be like, because when you jump down, you don't take as much damage. At least yeah. you'll suffer only like a strength three hit, comparatively. I'm just going to shoot it. You're just going to shoot it? I'm going to shoot it. Okay. Let's see if you hit it. And not wound it. I oh my it. goodness. Then. Par for the course for Sakaris. That's right. That's right. All right. That's that. We'll uh, come back with its go next. Okay, All right, said uh, creature, Feral Stalker, is going to charge into Sicarius. That's what he does. Um, it's automatically in. So he's uh, going to use uh, its talons, I think. So it's just going to get in base contact with you. Boop. Right by the edge there. And then... Uh, Gets three attacks with the stones. Mm -hmm. When he charges. They all hit. I'll parry the six. Oh, you got a parry. It still hits. <laughs> Son of a gun! <laughs> Alright. Uh, so let's see if it wounds you. What's your toughness? Mm, let me double check. Alright. Needing fours to wound. Alright, that's one wound. That's good. Okay. That's good. Mesh armor. Yeah, you get a minus one to your save here. You're good. You save it. Uh, you get to... Retaliate back. What are you gonna do? Two attacks. Okay. One hit. One hit. Yep. Strength it's is. Toxin. Oh. Okay. Needing a six. six. You get a six. <laughs> you get a. You deal a wound. Uh, it does have dodge. I believe I can use that in melee, not just range. But I'll double check. All right. So he has a dodge on a five plus. Can be used against melee and range. So let's see if he ignores that. He doesn't. Almost a five. Uh, so you have an injury to die here. This could be quick, I guess, on this side. Hey! Hey! Look at that! <laughs> wow. 
that's uh the opposite that's, of how i thought it was going to go that's that's yeah <laughs> wowzers that's insane um so you take it out of action i did not expect that to happen or anything to happen like no this. i thought oh, it was i thought it was paste i thought yeah. All right. Well, you take it out of action, it's dead, and you're going to be gaining a lot of experience for it. So, all right. So this fearsome beast, this fearsome beast right here, the feral stalker, was just taken out by the poison that Sicarius injected into his body. Uh, looking at the body and the corpse, you do know that it's not the only thing that's been killing things around here, though. So you're not fully sure what else has been killing stuff, but there's obviously more to this story than this creature. And you've never seen this type of creature before. It's definitely a Xenos based creature. Not one that's you've seen, so or that you know, have knowledge of. Mm. But you do end up killing it in one foul swoop. <laughs> Which is just the luck of the dice rolls. But you just you know that there is more out there that is causing havoc here. Do you continue on or do you vacate the area? I think we have to keep looking around. All right. So, we'll come back with Skull Smasher's activation next. All right, Ian, what are you doing with Skull Smasher down here? Skull Smasher is going to do a double move, because I know yep. that Darren really likes Skull Smasher to be high up. Yes. Near the edges of things. That's right. So he's going to get up higher. He's going to get up higher. Oh, my goodness. All right, we'll see where he ends up with his double move. And his double move ends him up there as well. Uh, it is the end of the round now. You do not see any other creatures up here. Uh, roll a d6. Let's see if knights or the lights go out. No. So where's the six when I need it? <laughs> Going into the next round, we're not rolling for priority because there is nothing present. So you might as well just do your movement until you get close to something else, maybe. We'll see. Sicaria is doing a double move now instead of, you know shooting a grapple launcher somewhere and killing a monster with one hit <laughs> with a toxin weapon and all that jazz. I can't believe you did that! I can't That's believe That's the lucky dice rolls, <laughs> oh dude. Alright, so, Sicarius, champion of hunters. So he's going two to here. Yeah. And taking the other six. moisture evaporator with him. And he's going another four up yeah. to here because he's only speed three. Oh my goodness, so walking across the walkway there. Cool, and Skull Smasher. He's just going to do a double move, follow Smash along. Smash is going to do a double move as well. Alright. I honestly thought you would need both heroes. That's why I said, hey, take both guys. And go from there. So he's just coming along like he's that. He's conga. Alright. Alright, let's see. This is a distance that people can spot each other at this point in time. Like, the sentry rules, basically, is what I'm using for them. Uh, for the other guys that are around. And I'll have to see. Ten inches. Ten inches is pretty good. So sitting up here... On this platform at the end of the round, you guys are walking around and you see a neophyte hybrid. Or, well, to you, I should say. Some weird Looks like a dirty mutated beauty. human. Yeah. Looks like a mutated human. You're not too sure from this distance. You'll have to get closer to look. Uh, but he does have, have a gun. And he sees you. And you see him. So, we'll have to roll for priority for next round. Can you instant kill this guy? Let's see. You gotta get priority first. I got a four. You got a three. All right, so it's going to go to him. All right, so the neophyte, the cultist down here, uh, he starts yelling and screaming the, about you invading his territory and, and, you know, stay off his turf and other things along those lines. It's really, like, gibberish. Like, it's almost like he's insane. I, mean, I don't quite understand. But you do, get it, you do hear enough that he is telling you to stay out of his area, right? So the gist. I'm not going through details of... of what he's actually saying, because we're not role-playing. But anyhow, he's going to do a... Uh, he's going to attempt to shoot Skull Smasher, because he ha does have the bigger gun at this point in time. So he's going to make a cool test, because he's uh, not the closest. He makes his cool test, because Neophytes have a cool 5+. Plus. And then he's going to shoot his auto gun up against him. Let's see if he hits. You're in the open. So, that's a miss. It's a miss. You guys are next. Sicarius is going yes. to activate and okay. uh, return fire. Return fire? All right. Let's see what happens. There's the. You forgot your ammo check for your fear grenade, too. Forgot about uh, that. Yes, let's do that. Yes, now. just to be on the safe side. Well, you got to roll a D. Uh, mm. Well, yeah. I don't know what it is. Six plus? I believe it's a six plus. So I okay, think we'll double check. So Sicarius is out of uh, fear grenades. Um, so now you're going to shoot your. Basic toxin, is it a needle rifle? Needle rifle. 
All right. Um, I gotta check range because you're at ten inches, basically. Oh, ten inches, so it's yeah. just outside of long range. So this yep. is a uh, three. Hit. Needing threes. You hit. Oh. Out of ammo. Out of ammo is not good. Roll a d6, sir. Out of ammo. Is it a six plus as well? Yeah. Oh, it's scarce. Oh no. Oh no. What All right. Hit? You hit. So toughness is only three. Let's see if you can take out the real fight. You no. cannot. That is not good. I gotta roll to see if he is uh, falling. Oh, he falls, yes. Because you pinned him. Uh, so his initiative, I think, is four plus. He's fine. All right, Scary, second action. Uh, he's gonna move up a little bit. All right. Like three that, inches? Is he's that not what in it a is? Great spot. No, no, none of you are. I don't think so. You're just gonna move up like so. Oh, in the open. Not good. And unfortunately, now that he's pinned, you can't even see him. <laughs> so <laughs> that sucks. What's Skull Smasher gonna do? Skull Smasher is just going to um, speculative fire with a uh, frag grenade <laughs> in the general area of where he saw him drop. That's right, that's right. So, frag grenade, just place this template on the ground back there that you can see. And then uh, let's see if he hit. Somewhere it. here? Yeah. Let's see if and he he's hit. going to aim as well. Alright, so you get plus one to this. And so you need a three plus, three plus to hit it. Oh my goodness, you hit, but you're here. Let's see if you're out of ammo. Six plus. Oh my goodness, he is not out of ammo. Okay, so you hit the ground. Uh, make a strength three wound up against the neophyte that is pinned. Does not wound. Can't be pinned again and fall again because it's when you transition from standing to pin that you make your initiative test. He's even more falling. pinned. He's even more pinned, yeah. So he's just going to stand there and hold ground. So with all this gunfire that's been happening, you look down to the below you, down here, into that mechanic shop, and you see another one of these, like, muties down here. He's carrying a big shotgun. He hears the gunfire, and he's starting to respond, so he'll be able to activate next round as well. And lastly but not least, the aberrant is coming out. He's just inside this doorway here. I really can't Put it there because where we put the power generator thing because uh, he'll fit his base will fit i just can't reach down there so i'm just going to pull it back a little bit so i can actually reach him but he's just behind this door here which will take an action to uh to open up ah terrain <laughs> fell hive quake so now going forward everybody's going to be activating uh normally gotta roll so, for darkness then. uh yeah so the end of the round Roll a d6 for me in. Let's see if it... Oh, see, you can't get a 6 now. All right. Priority for next turn. I got a 6. You got a 5. Neophytes. Or, sorry, gene stealer called. We'll come first. So the neophyte here is going to stand up. Uh, he's going to stand up, and he's going to shoot over at Skull Smasher again. So, where's the ammo die? Let's see if he hits. Needing force. Does hit and three times to boot. Uh, so let's see what happens. I'll roll. What is his toughness? Oh, he's toughness five. I need five to wound him. Not a single one. But make an initiative check for Skull Smasher. Please make it. No, you're gonna fall. He's gonna fall five inches straight down to this level there. Suffers a strength three. Uh, actually, I'll double check oh, that. I think it's. I think it's. Yeah. Because I think it goes up to, to strength four or something like that. We'll double check. So Skull Smasher down here does only suffer a strength three hit. And he is prone and pinned. So uh, needing fives to wound him. No. No wounds. Um, so that's good. So now you're lower. <laughs> that's, that's what I want. Separate you two guys. Now you guys realize where the guns are coming from. There's these mutants down here that were in the same area as that weird other creature. That was obviously a Zeno or a Zenos creature, one that you haven't seen before. So mm. it's intriguing. It's almost like it could be their pet or something, or maybe a mutation of sorts that they've mutated with. Nah, who knows? Uh, we'll come back with your guys' go next. Well, one of your guys' go. Arius is going to be next. Ian, what well, are you I'm doing? Gonna... With Use my grapple launcher again because I need to get out of there. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where are you going? That um, is the question. We'll see. So Sicarius ends his movement from his, uh, what is it called? Grapple launcher? Mm -hmm. Right there behind the uh, Xeno scum. And getting closer, you do realize that it's not a mutant. It's not like a mutated human. It is, it almost looks like, well, I guess it is a mutated human, but like you're seeing 
to your knowledge, what would be almost like Xeno aspects to them, but very f minute. So, all right. So this uh, neophyte hybrid is going to go next. He's going to move four inches over towards this pillar. Uh, then hopefully he can get up it uh, next turn. I don't think he can quite get up there this turn, but we'll measure it over. So he's at the bottom of that base. He doesn't have enough movement to fully get up because they're about four and a half inches tall. Uh, and we're just saying that these sections here are actually ladders to get up onto the ledges. So that way they're accessible to everybody and everybody can get where they want to go. So Skull Smasher is up next. We'll see what he does. So Skull Smasher, who's all the way back there, prone on the ground from falling five inches from this level up here. Uh, what are you going to do with him, Ian? He's going to try and stand up. Yep. And he's going to attempt to hit the guy who shot him with a crack grenade in the face. Yeah. So down there, shooting all the way over there. Mm -hmm. All right. So he is in full cover. Mm -hmm. so you have a minus two. Uh, so you need Looking for sixes. sixes. That no, is that is a miss. At least you don't need to make another ammo check. So if that is a miss, and that is your go see the uh, aberrant. We'll just do an action to open up that door, and then just move his uh, five or six inches, I can't remember what their movement is, out uh, towards the nearest ladder. <laughs> and so the uh, aberrant is there. After making his move through the door and moving five inches, he's going for that ladder there to hopefully get into Skull Smasher. We will see what happens, but we got to come back. Actually, we go into the end phase next to see if the power goes out. <laughs> and then... This is when I get my six. Yeah. No. no, no you don't. Now, priority roll. Here we go. I got a two. Two. You have priority, sir. Because I had it last. Starting off here with Sicarius, correct? Sicarius is going to charge into the back of that... Uh, what? Funky looking dude. No way. What did he ever do to you? He's got three inches of movement, so yeah, he's going to get he's in. He's going to get in, no matter what. So, All right, so you get into the back of him. He's getting snuggly. He's mm -hmm. going to spin around. He doesn't spin around to his action. Yeah, because uh, he actually gets a minus one for striking when you turn oh, to nice. face the opponent, right? So, so you have three attacks on the charge? Yes. Very good. Needing fours to hit. Mm -hmm. Don't whiff, sir. Don't whiff. There you go. That's like a, a boss. There you go. Uh, all right, so t toughness is only three. So three or higher for your toxin. All right, so that's, so that's three injury three dice. Let's see what happens here. Two out of actions. Super dead. Wow. Sakarius is on a roll. Yeah, he's super, super dead. You're rolling a ton of skulls tonight, so uh -huh. you're getting experience from killing him as well. Bam. All right, this neophyte uh, is going to climb up this ledge here, the ladder. So that will be both his actions to get up there. Um, I could put him in the open over there, but then he's just going to face a grenade. So he's not going to do that. He's going to at least try to stay somewhat concealed over here. The next turn, he'll jump up and shoot maybe or something. We'll see what happens. All right, Skull Smasher, what are you going to do? He's going to shimmy over here. Yeah. Just to get him out in the open there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, use his crack grenade. Just a crack grenade, eh? All right. So, are you within Actually, six maybe inches? maybe not, because I think he's too close. Yeah, you get a minus one, that's it. So. Should I back him up a bit? No. So I'm not getting that minus one there. Do you have... But what's then his, I'm gonna what's have to, his now movement? Now he's going to get... Uh, he's going to get cover if I back him that's up. That's right. So. Yeah, you're going to get the minus, minus one. Minus one, minus one. Okay. Go. So this is going to be a five. Needing a five. Oh my goodness! Oh my God, he's out of ammo. He hits. Okay, so needing a two to wound. Well, you got to do your ammo check yeah. as well. So ammo check. You still have ammo! <laughs> oh, oh, dude. Do you wound? You wound! <laughs> All the sixes this time. All right, roll two. It's damage two? Yes. So, uh... Is there an AP to the crack grenade? Uh, this is an AP minus two. Okay, so no save for him. <laughs> All <of the> skulls <laughs> tonight. Uh, so Skull Smasher gets a uh, experience point because he took out that neophyte. Blasted him to bits as he goes flying off the edge. <laughs> Landing in the old generator down there. Power <laughs> generator. Last activation for this round is going to be the... Uh, the aberrant down here, it's going to charge across, uh, well, double move across to the uh, the ladder there and hopefully climb up if there's enough 
space. So with a double move, he does end at the top of that ladder. Just push him back that out to be so inside an inch. So not one inch? Yeah. That's a bit. And then he's facing Skull Smasher. That's not good for Skull Smasher, but we'll see what happens. With priority. Now After lights the lights go out. Let's see. Do the lights go out now that everybody needs to go out? No, they don't. You can roll sixes for everything else. All right. We'll roll priority now. Let's see what happens. Come on, priority. I got a two. You got a three. You have it. That's dangerous. Starting off the round over here, Skull Smasher. Are you going to try to smash some skulls? He's going to try. All right. Let's see what you do. So you let's charge? See you charge in. All right. Well, you're definitely in. <laughs> yeah, you're in. Wait. Wait a second. So you're in down there? How many attacks do you have on the charge? I have three attacks on the charge with a stub gun and a brute cleaver. Okay. And so... So make I'm going to do, do one a, with the... Oh, I'm going to switch the die for that. Yeah. One. Use like um, a black die or something yeah. like that. So. Brute cleaver gets... Or sorry, the stub gun gets one. Brute cleaver gets two. Two, yep. I need... Fours on the black, threes on the yellow. All right. All right, so fours. The gun misses. Misses, and then the two. Two with the uh, uh, brute cleaver. Do hit. Yeah. Now, it has disarm as well? Yes. We'll double check that because I'm not. With the new edition, all the rules are, have slight variations that, so we'll double check to see what that does and if it affects me. Uh, it so, if Ian rolled a natural six with disarm, he uh, the. Aberrant wouldn't be able to uh, use his power pick if he survives. But you hit twice. What do you do? What do you do? What's your uh, strength with this guy? Uh, the strength of this one is three. All right, so Skull Smasher looks big, but he's not that big. But he's, he's jonesing for his fix of drugs from the Eschers. Yeah. is what he's doing. Uh, so you need fives here to wound, sir. Fives. Nothing. Nothing at all. So my reactionary attacks, uh, I have a weapon skill of 3+, plus, and uh, using his power pick, which is just strength plus 1, so it'd be strength of uh, 6, I think, with the aberrant, after the plus 1, yeah, so strength 6 after the plus 1, so let's see if I hit first. Needing 3, so 1 hit. Do you have parry or anything like that on the skill smasher? No. Okay, so uh, your toughness is five, five, so I need threes. It is a wound, minus three AP. No save. So no save. Uh, it's only one damage, but you only have one wound. One wound. Wrecked. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's see what happens to Skull Smasher. Skull Smasher is seriously injured. I think he's going to take Skull Smasher out of action there. The Aberrant is like, peace! Going to throw you over the ledge. And let's see what happens to Skull Smasher after that. Uh, so the black is going to be the tens column. So 31, I think he's just in recovery. It actually is in recovery. He gets a grievous injury. End of the round. Ian, does Sicarius want to face down this aberrant? I kind of do because he just took out a teammate, but I need to get some more needles, so I'm going to have to find myself mm -hmm. an ammo cache. Well, there's two. There's one over here, and then there's one behind him. Or you have your toxin blade and try to fight him in melee. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other thing that you could do. I don't yeah. like those odds. You don't like those odds against the aberrant over there? It is beastly. It is beastly. It's definitely a mutated Xenos weird creature, so... So we'll see what we do. All right, Ian, let's see. Seeing as how you're not going to run, roll a d6, and let's see if the lights go out. They do not. They're still on. All right. Priority next turn. Let's see what happens. Got a two. You got a six, so you go first. Sicarius is up first. What He's are you doing? He's going to uh, do double action to grapple over to that main strut there. All the way over here. Just going to go across to here. Yeah, so just within 12 inches over to this place. Zip. Right over there. Like so. Um, that guy is going to run. Uh, where is he going to go? Where is he going to go? He's going to run up the ladder. He's going to have to try to come up and around because I don't think he has the uh, the distance for trying to ja jump the gap. Leap. I could make him leap, actually. I'll, I'll check. How, we'll see how big that distance is. So the aberrant, uh, aberrant has... Ran five inches up that ladder, or climb, clambered, and then five inches across this walkway. And he's going to start coming across over here because he smells some fresh blood down there. End of the round, because we both went. Lights. Go ahead. 
Lights are out. That's good in some sense. Now you can't shoot them if you get the ammo cache. All right, so let's see who has priority next turn. I got a three. You got a three, so it goes to the Aberrant next. So Ian, you hear big Goliath-style footsteps smashing overhead as the Aberrant is running across the platform towards you. You see him just at the edge. Actually, you really don't see much. Because the lights are out. I sense something. You sense something oh, coming towards you. Clanging. Yes. And some, some wet drool sounds hitting <laughs> the floor as well. Slobbering, speaking unintelligible language. Like me most of the time. <laughs> so, uh, but the aberrant just ends his movement there. So he basically went five inches across and then used two to get over here and two to get down. So, Sicarius, what are you doing with him? Yeah, I'm going to double move to get over that <laughs> ammo. All right, so double moving right through so here. Go well, you got six inches right there. Whoops. Whoa! And then I knocked him off. You're going to have to use an action next turn Bloop. to, to uh, get to it. All right, so we are at the end of the round. The Aberrant is down there. It's going to try to scale down, hopefully, next turn and get into Sicarius before you can get his gun loaded. End of the phase, though, we got to test to see if the lights come back on, because right now they are out. They come on on a six. six. No, they are still out. Sicarius, is he wanting to run, or is he going to try to get into that ammo crate and use it to reload his scarce needle rifle? Yeah, he's going to dig for some ammo. All right, so let's roll priority then, if you're going to stick around. I got a three. You got a <laughs> six. six. You got it. All right, Sicarius is going for this round. What are you doing with him? He's gonna dig for bullets. All right, so ammo crate. Actually, you get... for needles, which seems dangerous yeah, it's, in the dark. it's almost <laughs> like you're a junkie that way too, Scarius. Uh, so you get a plus two because you are within an inch of an ammo crate. If you roll a natural six, the ammo crate is exhausted, but allows you to. You do not get ammo, but you can always reload again because uh, it is a simple action, not a basic action. Huff and puff and dig for more needles. No! No, no needles. needles! That's where you want to roll well, <laughs> not garbage. So that is Sicarius's go. So the yeah, Aberrant is going to come down and charge into... Well, get closer. You can hear and feel his breath on you as he comes charging towards you. So the Aberrant charging down across this walkway into Sicarius right there. That is the end of the round because they both activated. Ian, go ahead and roll to see if the lights come back on. They do! Oh no! That is not what you wanted! <laughs> you don't want the lights on there because the Aberrant still couldn't see you. You'd only sense you. Priority, next turn. I got a one. To your two, Ooh. you got it. You got it, sir. All right, what are you going to do with Sicarius? There's only one thing I can do right now, and that is charge. You're going to charge him? And hope to do Oh my goodness. Work. You're gonna are you sure you want to charge him? With the with the toxin, I gotta rely on it. What's his toughness? Four. Toughness four. Oh, you're good. You're, like, that's good. Right. I'll give it a shot. All right. So roll a d6. I think you're in. Actually, you might not be because you gotta come down the inch. I have four inches. Four inches of movement. We'll check. So for going the ammo cache or the ammo crate there and reloading your gun, you're charging four inches because you only have movement three, mm -hmm. which leaves you just short of an inch. From the aberrant, 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 same shit. Either way, you're about to shit your pants. Thought heroics would be a good thing. Oh, hi. Hi. How's it going? That's not good. We'll come back with the aberrants. Go next. The aberrant, aberrant, sorry, charging. He's in. Oh, heck yeah. He gets eight inches of movement, so he's just going to come around and get right in your face, getting up tall on the platform, like so. He has three attacks on the charge, and uh, they're all with his power pick. So it's uh, strength six, minus three to your armor save, damage one though, so that is good. Let's see what happens, hitting on threes. Oh, do you have parry? I do, so uh, we roll that six please. Yes sir, okay, so down That's to one. one. Good. Toughness four. Okay, so he is strength six, so needing threes. Nothing. Oh, oh my goodness. Is this is this how you take Ooh. the uh, aberrant as well? I'm Just hoping. like the creature? You have two attacks, reactionary Three strikes. Fours. Yep. Oh, I'll give you that six. That's it. All right. Uh, you need four higher. Let's try that again. Yep. 
No, <laughs> sir. You guys are locked into combat right there. Do the lights go out? <laughs> Fighting in the dark? No, they don't. Priority next turn. He gets a two. To your two. You had it. Goes to him. Ian. Sicarius. How do you think he's going to fare? Um, I think the Abern is going to uh, count his losses and just run. No, uh, no. He's too bloodthirsty. <laughs> You've killed his cultist friends. His little wee ones, as he calls them. <laughs> he's going to attack you. Yeah, that's one attack. Or two attacks, sorry. Three on the charge, so two attacks normally. Hitting on threes. One hit. Parry? Yeah. Yep. I figured as much. One hit. Okay. Can he wound? Needing threes. Does wound. Mm -hmm. That's good. Get a minus three to your save. Uh, that's no save. Alright, so you take a wound. That's good for you. One. Yeah, that's wound number one. So he did a wound to you. You feel his power pick. Right in the chest. He's trying to gouge your heart out with it. Uh, you're going to react? I'm going to give it a shot. All right. Hitting on? Fours. Oh, you one. just got one. Needing fours to wound him. No. I love rolling ones for wounds. No. Does the power go out? End phase. Let's see. No, it doesn't. You need that for the toxin, dude. Yeah. Priority next turn. It's a big one. Let's see. You oh get a one. God. He gets a four. He's coming at you first. Ah, uh, these ones! The Aberrant rips out the power pick, comes swinging it back down at you again. Hits twice. I don't like that. Parry one? Yeah. Hits ah, twice still. Hits even better. Hits even better. <laughs> he had no armor save in the damage because his power mm -hmm. goes up by one as well. So now it's damage two if it wounds. So I'll roll the power one in yellow. Um, so let's see. It wounds. <laughs> All right, so it's two damage. Yep. Up against you, uh, and there's no armor saves, unfortunately, nope. with it being power. So, or even with the pick itself. So let's see what happens to you. You're hoping for two flesh wounds here. <laughs> two seriously injured, and so he will take you out of action and go from there. But I did my job. You did your job. Well, you did not kill the <laughs> aberrant, aberrant, aberrant. Aberrant. I think it's a aberrant, right? Let's see lasting injury. Black will be tense. 53. Oh, oh right. shit. <laughs> so, Sicarius suffers a hand injury and goes into recovery as well. So, both guys went into recovery. You technically got rid of the monster. But at the cost of being seriously injured. Seriously injured. Um, so, that is the end of the game. We'll come back with the... Uh, yeah, after battle stuff, like breakdown and stuff like that. I should say that the Aberrant decides to slink back into the shadows, into somewhere in the Underhive. Not a good thing to see, Ian. Not a good thing at all. I think you've recognized what some of these things are, knowing that they are a cult, or a, a infestation of mutated humans. Not cool. Uh, all three of the mutants did have similar mutations. This one to an extreme amount. <laughs> With his power pick. Anyhow, let's do the after action stuff. Or, not the after action report, but the uh, breakdown. You, uh, Sicarius, got how many experience in total? He got six in total. Alright. Uh, so, you're at what right now? Uh, that brings him to nine experience. That's good, that's good. You didn't kill everything, unfortunately. So you don't get the, the extra credits and stuff like that for the successful contract, but you do get the experience which is really good so nine experience and skull smasher is at i can't remember but he got two experiences this round so that's pretty good but he is in recovery unfortunately as well so we'll be back with the after action report next all right guys here we are with the after action report you just saw the match with sicarius and skull smasher up against some gene stealer cult and a mutated monster uh which also had similarities to some of the genetic material of the Gene that Stiller purple cults. coloration is very distinct. Yeah, very distinct. You've seen it before. Um, so, Sicarius has seen some of the sort of uh, markings, I, I guess you could say, on these cultists before. He's seen that, you know, 
the ridges across the eyebrows, you know, the chitinous armor that is protruding on, especially the aberrant, uh, around its arms and that before. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Makes him suspicious. Unfortunately, he's in recovery. He's going to have to <laughs> let everybody know once he wakes up what he found. If he remembers. If he remembers, so. But, uh, yeah, gene stealer cults, they're spewing out down here. That's not a good thing. Well, we've been noticing uh, people have been spray painting these weird markings. Yeah, like a worm. And thing. Uh, it seemed to be like the same iconography that some of them had on their belts and things. Mm -hmm, so. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You definitely do see that too. Could be. Probably is. Mm -hmm. Would make sense. <laughs> so, thoughts on the scenario? It was it was wicked. It was quite fun. Um, I didn't expect to run into the beast after my first action. No, neither did I. <laughs> I was hoping that it would take... I forgot that you had the grapple launcher. Mm. And so I was like, yeah, I'll put it up high. So you have to work to get towards it. Start you guys on the ground level. And you're like, oh yeah, I'm going to use yeah, the grapple I launcher. I like, oh, to like, no. scope out the area. Yeah, yeah. And I forgot that you had it. Mm. That's why I sort of like... I put them up into one of the more... The, the harder places to reach. One of the higher areas. Stuff like that. Thinking, oh... You'll have to go through some of these other things before you get to it and, and then go from there. It'll lead and up to a climax. Exactly. No, like, no let's no, go right no, to no. the end. And, and then, yes, and this kill and him in one shot. Prick him with the needle and he dies. Just a tip. Just a tip. <laughs> it was just the tip. My goodness, that was crazy. I did not expect you to roll like that. That natural six. So, and that was kind of the, the end of skull. my toxin fun, though. Yeah. But, yeah. but it worked. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of experience with Scarius for that. You're going to buy on the skill? I think I'm going to. Uh, Go grab a secondary skill. A secondary skill, that's pretty cool. Random one? Might do, just yeah. to see. Cool, well, we'll figure that out. I don't really trust dice, but... No! I, well, I think it's like, is it 9 to pick your secondary, or is it 12 to pick a secondary skill, or you have to roll randomly with 9 experience, I think. We'll double check that before you leave, and we'll go from there. So, yeah, I had fun. I like playing with my Gene Steeler Cult. I like the Gene Steeler Cult in general. So, uh, the Aberrants are beastly mm -hmm. when they get in on combat and the fact they're that, fast too you don't yeah. expect them to be that fast but they are and and sicarius has tiny little baby steps yeah yeah three inches to five <laughs> it was only a matter of time he's I, up and down that ledge i think this is one of the more dynamic boards that we've played on mm -hmm. it was fun it having was. the the height as an element yeah yeah let me it, it felt more natural for him using his grapple launcher that's to right to get around, around. Yeah. yeah yeah and it's pretty cool because like i think the highest thing on here i think is about 12 inches tall mm -hmm. or so like the platform that you could walk on so uh and it was used you know what i mean like uh, like it all, all the well the majority of the platforms were used um and the height was there so that was mm -hmm. pretty cool because you guys started going up across that one platform on the sector mechanica side and then coming across and then yeah. you know skull smasher gets skull shot smasher down fell again <laughs> it's not a hole it's like, not a hole <laughs> it's just a ledge he shrugged just, it off it was okay yeah, yeah. he got up it, and it was the again. power pick that did it yes sorry darren it's unfortunate, yes, Skull Smasher <laughs> decide to... I couldn't, I would have taken Larkin, but Larkin's in recovery, so... Yeah, yeah, from the last scenario, so... Well, Ian, I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you very much. Guys, thank you for supporting us on Patreon. Uh, we definitely um, are able to do all this stuff because of you guys, so please continue with the support, uh, and we will continue to do what we do. So, make sure Monday, next week... Well, well, next Monday, Necro Monday, as I call it, uh, we'll have another battle report uh, going back to a regular mission, which is a monster hunt. So we'll do a monster hunt next nice. week. Had a special request, so I thought, <laughs> I thought, why not? Maybe this monster wasn't truly dead. <laughs> maybe you just made it slink away to the shadows too. Who knows? Or maybe there's more than one. We'll find out. But anyhow, we'll do the monster hunt on Monday. Uh, stay tuned. Thank you again, guys. Till next time. Ignite your hobby. Craig for president. Twenty twenty.